but like my third can from this brand look I'm a true fan I love matcha it, and it tastes so much better when you make it as well it's so overpriced if you buy it at a cafe it's like seven dollars for a cup and this one can costed me like ten dollars to buy one make your own matcha at home this book is Um, noodles. There's this Japanese fusion izakaya in Cape Town um, that's called, what's it called? Izakaya Mu um, and it's like a like a hidden place but it's one of my favorite restaurants in New York and they have really good kimchi cream food on pasta. So yeah, I'm gonna make that soon. So we're going to be making like a base paste with some minced pork. Not too thin. Just gonna cut them in half. Three tablespoons of kochugaru, two tablespoons of soy sauce. This is pretty important. Add some pepper as well. This pepper really makes like all the flavors come together. After you've added everything, it should look like this. Part of sundubu jjigae has to be the yolk. Like, if there's no yolk in sundubu jjigae, I will not eat that. I finished. Hello. In my Rucksack have I a Federbärchen. I have, I have auch. Oh. Hello. In my Rucksack, I a Brille. Ein, ein Buch. Okay. <lacht> Hallo. In meinem Rucksack habe ich ein Filmerchen, eine Brille. 
Was hast du in deinem Rucksack? Rucksack. Was hast du? Was hast du in deinem Rucksack? I feel like German is like such a cute language. It sounds so cute. These are my ingredients for my overnight oats. Chia seeds, rolled oats, I mean quick oats, Greek yogurt, non-fat, and then my lactose-free milk, lactate. This jar, if you guys like making overnight oats, please check this out. I got this from Ikea, specifically for my overnight oats. It's big enough, just big enough to store my overnight oat here. And then once you open the cap, there's like another container inside that's really small. And this is where you can freshly store like the fruits that you want to add it to your overnight oats. I'm just gonna put a third, like a third cup. I think it's better to have less oat and more chia seeds so it's, it tastes more like pudding. I think I just put in like a tablespoon, maybe a little more. Alright, half cup of milk, maybe like a, like a quarter cup of Greek yogurt. The crazy thing is, I used to hate overnight oats. Like, I used to absolutely hate them. And I never understood why people love having for breakfast. But I started eating them every day. Because it's such an easy breakfast. And it's like cheap. You can make so many portions just with like one container of each ingredient. It's very really liquidy, but I think that's the consistency I like because I don't like it when it's too thick. Tomorrow morning, it, this is gonna be like pretty thick and gooey. It's not gonna be like liquid, fluidy consistency. That's it. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna go get ready for bed.